Triloki Akhara, a very old, respected, almost ancient uh, spiritual Akhara. Please tell us more about its parampara and uh, what it believes in, what schools of... I was created by Triloki Nath. Triloki Nath. Who is um, himself a form of Shiva. And then he he taught Shankarnath. Shankarnath is the one who established the uh, Akhada. Shankar. And then he he taught Parvati, who was his first student. Siddha Yoga, he taught her. And then she taught uh, Nandi. Nandi taught it to Agastya. Agastya taught it to my guru. And uh, here I am. So that's called the lineage. That's the powers that back what I do here in this world. And I've seen that they back me no matter what. Mm. Uh, that's great. You know? I mean, as long as I'm serious and I'm sincere, I have the backing of the Akhada. And so does every single one of my students. Mm. Because they're just seventh in the lineage. Even though it's a very ancient lineage. It so happened mm. that because of Babaji and Agastya, Agastya being immortal, Babaji being immortal, they were able to bring that knowledge. Mm. If they all had died, then we would have lost this knowledge. Because these are living masters, we have mm. this. And then mm. there are so many people that are alive. There are so many. Mm. What is immortality? Mm. It is your body healing faster than it decays. That's all. End of the day, you make sure that mm. you healed your body more. When you wake up in the morning, if you healed your body more than you decayed it in the previous day, that's all. People know, like a child. Yeah. Yeah. We, we teach them mortality mm. by giving them Rita Darshana, philosophy of death. Our body works according to a philosophy. If the philosophy is of death, then we'll die. Because time is stored in our mind. Mm. If you ask someone, how do you see yourself 500 years mm. from now? They don't see themselves. So that is why uh, you can go back and see when's yeah. the last you see yourself. That's Maybe hundred. Then that's the yeah. day you're going to die. You already set it. So the body is set to die on that yeah. day. The body is already set to die. Everybody's body is set uh, to die if you're not aware of your timeline. So you need an infinite timeline if uh, you want to live long. Yeah, that's that's the key. That's what I teach in my course. Wow, there's so many things. I think I'll have to go through the playlist and the courses again. I have only one course, man. It's a 64 day challenge. You know, if people can go through my challenge, then they're a warrior. Then I want to teach them. If they can't go through my college, I don't want anything to do with them. I'm a very private person. I don't even let people visit me. No. Uh, so this 64 day challenge, is it yeah, like it's a recorded course, course so recorded anyone can it, join anytime? Uh, uh, copy exactly what I'm doing and then you report to me about all the secrets that you learned and how you applied it. So that's how it is. Wow. So it's an out of this world course that's causing transformations in people uh, who want to be heroic. It's not for everyone. So I, I get 1500 yes. applications every month, but I take only 50 people. Okay, I'm yeah. going to apply today. And now you talk to me, so I think my chances have improved. I I, I am definitely, I, I have been pulled out specifically to walk, uh, I think so, this path. Yeah, let's see where, where it takes me. Okay, um, so Guru, I my one of my favorite names of Lord Shiva is Pashupati. Because I heard from Osho once that he explained it beautifully that we all we have a, we have a god who is even looking after all the non-human entities in the world and he is pashupati how beautiful is that and it's it's so beautiful when you think about the esoteric or whatever meaning you think about that he worries and takes care of everything the flora the fauna the ant the spider the serpent the bull the cows so that's, a, it's just incredible. It's such a beautiful name. And yeah, I read on your website that there was a specific reason why. Yeah, because you, you to know, help people's Pashu Vritti to go. So there is something called right. Pashu Vritti where a person becomes extremely tamasic and they, 
they start hating change you know yeah. they become into this i want everything to be predictable and then they resent that also then they feel like my life is so boring nothing good is happening i'm so lonely they've gone for security yeah. so those are the pashus ah in pashu vritti they have to come to veera vritti from veera vritti they have to come to divya vritti that journey is my responsibility to make you undergo that journey and it happens you watch some podcast and mind something gets dislodged in your brain You're like ah this is the truth the mirror that i'm seeing you know and people wake up and then they start learning and they start making changes they stop being afraid i don't want anyone in this world to be afraid because we are here yogis are here But, don't worry you don't have to be afraid of anything yeah that's that's right guru ji my my spiritual guru i come from a spiritual lineage of uh, om swami in himachal uh, naga his guru was mm. naga baba so i think that's the tradition we are following and he has very clearly when we i was initiated physically and that was just the most incredible experience of my life and before that i was not much of a of a, of a theist mm-hmm. or a religious person though born in a brahman family my mother is very very religious so i was like very skeptic but when i experienced it so the proof is in the pudding i it was right there and when i was initiated we were told specifically and the guru says it again and again that i am right behind you there is nothing more i can tell you there is nothing that i'll let happen to you but we are still afraid things happen my in different my areas of life afraid. we still okay. the reason is you know, make them follow I... devi maryada do you know what that is devi reaches to us it's no. called devi sparsha she touches us in various ways as light as cold as magnetic energy as water she touches us in various ways as electricity and we don't allow her to touch her she also touches us as time as mahakali but we don't allow her to touch we keep resisting so i wow. teach my students devi maryada give respect for the mm-hmm. sparsha and receive it and we start receiving the sparsha mm-hmm. only i accept them as students mm-hmm. those who have received devi sparsha for 3 days then okay. i take them as students they never have any problems no problems of faith no nothing because they already got mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. yes so if we start with your system for a challenge we will we'll go on leaking energy from various yeah. places with different dis- disagreements you know and the upanishad they say ma vid vishar ma vid vishar hai <laughs> so never let us never have disagreements with vishar the people are full of vid vishar they are just like disagreeing and disagreeing and every disagreement you have with So can you be in a society where everybody agrees with each other? That's called Ram Rajya, where everybody agrees with each other. You have such a good yeah. time. So disagreement drains energy. I'm not saying criticism is wrong, but debate is necessary for you and to have an open mind and respect when you're speaking. That is not there. You see people commenting sometimes on my videos as if I'm some common criminal. You know. So make one video about me. I have made like two hundred videos, three hundred, five hundred, ten, a thousand videos, giving them benefit. And if I make one video saying, uh, "Come to my course," like fake guru, like, <laughs> asking for money. I'm like, who pays your bills? Do I not know how your bills can get paid? <laughs> yes. So like this, mm. you know, people are like they're ready to take, take, take the epidemic of selfishness and selflessness. I don't do selfishness or mm-hmm. selflessness. Mm-hmm. I am generous, no doubt, but mm-hmm. I am not selfless. I'm symbiotic. If you get engaged with me, there will mm-hmm. be symbiotic growth for you and for me. Otherwise, what's in it for me? People want to go to a teacher, and only right. they want to grow. They don't mm-hmm. want a teacher to grow. They don't want to be symbiotic. They want to mm-hmm. take. That's not mm-hmm. allowed in yoga. Yoga itself means symbiosis. There is swartha, niswartha. The middle path yeah. is called yoga, where I mm. and you become V. Mm. That is yoga. Mm. 